are welcome once again to your favorite program, The Truth. Nothing but the truth. And my name, Kayode Olorondari. We are still discussing the case of the OAU student that was murdered in an Elefe hotel. And um, we also brought you the story about the owner of the hotel, that is the Hilton Hotel Elefe, and that is Chief Ramon Adegoke, the mayor of Elefe. Although news flitting to us as it that the only of effect had removed him from the chief, that chief, chief Tassi affair. We asked four questions the last time that we met, that we spoke about him. But today, we want to examine the, the rumor that the police may be trying to pervert justice in this particular case. Last week we reported that his mate at the Obafemi Aulawa University cried out and warned that they will resist any attempt to cover up the case of, the, of their murdered colleague. And we also told you that the family also express fear that the, that the facts of the case of the mother might be covered. And from that point to now, there have been controversial issues that seem to want to indicate that the police may be trying to cover up. What would you say about the release that Chief Raman Adekuki made to the media, trying to appeal to the media and trying to launder his image? We also know that his lawyer had been going around media houses trying to, in his own words, put the records straight. The first question we want to ask today is that when did the chief made this uh, audio release that is being circulated on the social media? Was it before he was arrested? Did he know that he was going to be arrested? Did he know that he would be arrested? Since he was arrested the very day the news of the mother broke out. Who will answer this question? The Oshun State Police certainly need to clear the air over this issue of his audio press release or was it made while he was in detention why would somebody a suspect of a murder case be allowed to make a new audio release to the press hmm. nigerians we must ask and continue to ask that our police will live up to up to desire, our desires for them. Another thing that we need to look at in this case is that this chief said in that audio release that the postmortem had been done and the police had confirmed that no part of the body was missing. How did they know these facts? Were the police 
reporting to him. Why would the police report to him? Has something exchanged hands? It is time that the Nigerian police begin to show us that it has an image to protect. And this case is a case that they can use to tell the public that it is no longer business as usual. To join family members of the disease to ask that police must ensure there is justice. If anyone is accusing the police to have shown Chief Rahman Adegoke any favor, that person may not be far from the truth. Certainly, he has been treated better than an ordinary suspect. But I wish that someone will remind the police that this is a murder case. We agree that no one is guilty until he has been proven to be guilty by a court of law. Nevertheless, the police should not be the prosecutor and also the advocate, which they are which it seems as if they are doing right now. I want to end this program by calling on well-meaning Nigerians, particularly people who are from that part of Nigeria, to call the police to order. My name is Kaldi Olorondari and this is Kelly's TV. The program remains the truth. Nothing but the truth. Thank you.